Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Masai School. Uh, we are a 21st century career focused coding school. Uh, my name is Amanwats. I'm an engineering graduate from Birla Institute of Technology, Misra. Uh, I lead the data structures and algorithm curriculum at Masai School. So uh, let me tell you about this video series. <clears throat> Uh, in this video series, we'll be introduced to uh, computer programming. Uh, you will learn how to write basic computer programs. You will learn the basic constructs of a computer program. That is uh, data types of variables, conditional statement, loops, functions, everything. And you will be learning this in Python. All right. So <clears throat> this is a very fundamental uh, uh, video to, you know, getting started with computer programming in Python and uh, this video series is actually a part of the pre-course uh, for the full stack developer program at Mass High School. And now we have decided to, you know, make this course available for all aspiring programmers. So we really hope that it helps you in getting started with computer programming and in Python. So happy coding. Thank you so much. Right. So in this part of this, uh, uh, this pre-course, we'll be looking at uh, how to, I mean, all about data types and variables. In the last part, we looked at uh, how do we print something in Python, the output part. And the second thing that we looked at is how do we execute a Python program? Okay, so uh, so guys, uh, for for the classes ahead, we'll be following a simple thing. For, uh, for understanding the conceptual things, we'll be using whiteboard. And whenever we have to programmatically implement that concept in Python, will be going back I and mean, coming back to this editor okay so that so that it becomes clear for you first to what is the conceptual thing that you need to understand and then we'll come back to the uh, to the code okay to, to coding that same concept in python okay so let's start learning i mean in earlier videos we discussed that a program requires memory for executing its logic all right you need the memory that your computer provides in order to implement some logic okay so in this segment we will dive deeper into why do we need memory how we use that what are variables and different data types don't worry if you are finding these jargons difficult to understand at, at this point we'll look at it one by one all right so okay let's start so we have to understand two very important things that are variables and data types so what happens is in python and in, in programming in general we need to build systems for dealing with data okay for instance i suppose performing some tasks might need you to store uh, data like storing temperature location of a flight to i mean basically you might need to store some data in order to implement some logic or processing apply processing for example, you might need to store what your user is providing you, and based on that, you, you, you may need to process, I mean, work on with the logic. So, for that thing, you need to store that data in, in some place. Okay, so that is when we use uh, uh, variables and data types. So, let's, let's uh, understand this conceptually. Okay, so what happens is you have access to memory blocks. Okay are memory blocks that you have access to okay there you have memory lab blocks that you have access to and suppose for implementing a particular logic you need memory we have discussed this earlier okay and uh, suppose you want to store um, marks of one of these students okay of a class so we need one memory location and we'll store a number here okay we'll store a number here so how does this work in Python? So basically, you uh, you give this memory block a name, okay? So suppose you want to give it a name marks, okay? You give that memory location a name, and you can store a numerical value in it, okay? We can even store integer float or something, okay? So the kind of value that you are storing in it is called data types, okay? You might be storing suppose grades. So in that case, it will not be an integer. Uh, it will, I mean, it will not be a number. It will be a character. Then. Okay. So the kind of value that you store in that particular memory location allocated to you is called data type, and the name that you use to refer to a particular location is called variables. Okay. So there are two different things that you need to understand in this part. The first one is data type, and the second one is variables. So let's try to understand it again. What I'm trying to say. So, in order to uh, 
in order to process the input and generate an output, we don't need space. Okay, so uh, Python allows you to use some space. Okay. Or let's say any programming language allows you to do that. We'll see how that that thing happens syntactically. Uh, I mean, for in in Python, how do you write it as a program? But let's understand the concept. So the kind of value that you are storing in that particular memory location that is allocated to you is called data types. For example, it can be number, it can be uh, characters, it can be uh, say a string. Okay, it can be Boolean. We'll look at each one of these one by one. But these, I mean, there are different possible data types that your uh, that your memory location can store, and you give a particular memory location a name so that whenever you refer to that name, it means you are trying to refer to a particular memory location. Okay, so let's now look at it programmatically. What do I mean when we say that we'll have to look at uh, memory location? So suppose you want to store suppose you want to store marks of some students right so what you do is you declare the name you declare use say marks is equal to 60 suppose so basically this word marks refers to a particular uh, space in memory location right it just refers to a particular value i mean a particular location in your memory storage which stores a value a number in it Okay, so if you uh, if you do print marks, so let's see what it does. Let's try to execute this program. So yeah, I printed. Now let's again uh, change this marks to sixty five, and let's try to print it again. So. So, yeah, it printed 60 because firstly it was 60, then it got updated to 65, it printed 65. Okay, so what is happening? Marks is just a memory location which is storing a number type of value. Okay, which is storing a number type of value. So, marks is a variable. Okay, marks is a variable. And the type of value which it is storing is called data types. All right. So I hope this has become somewhat clear. Now let's go to look at some of the conceptual things that we were looking at. Okay. So let me clear this up. I'm not sure what is happening. Okay. Right. There's this. Okay. And there was some problem. There was some glitch. So yeah. So I, I hope that you understood what data what data types and what variables are. So let's look at different data types. Different data types. So first look at strings. All right. So a string is a series of letter, number, or symbol connected in an order. Okay. So uh, string can be defined in different ways. Uh, you can put in double quotes or a single quote. So I'll tell you what I mean. So name. Is equal to. I'll, I'll show you programmatically what I'm trying to do, but let's understand it conceptually first. So this name is a variable, okay, which means it is a space allocated to you in the memory storage of the of the uh, of your computer of your processor in which you have stored a value, and the value is of string data type. All right, it's a string data type. And what is the value? It's precise code. And since it's a string, we put it under quotes. All right. So this is a variable, and the type of value this variable is storing is called a data type. Okay. Similarly, we have we may have uh, another value, number type of data, number data type. So uh, there are different kinds of number data type. We have int, we have float, we have complex. So let's look at int and float for the time. So suppose you want to store some integer value, okay? So that is taken care by the int data type. So suppose you want to store age is equal to 22. So this age again is a variable which stores is a particular number, which is an integer type. So this data type is int, okay? And age is a variable, which means it is a location allocated to you in the memory, all right? A float is nothing but, uh, yeah, you know, a, a kind of, 
number which is floating between two integers uh, or essentially in other words you can say a number with decimal point for example 22.5 so suppose you want to in somehow register temperature so temperature is equal to 25 to 2.5 so this temperature is a variable and the value it is storing is of type float okay why because it is floating between two integers 22 and 23 and or in the other way you can see because it has a decimal point okay the third type of data is boolean so boolean data type stores only two type of value okay either true or false so uh, what i mean by that is suppose you want to say is meal okay so if you store false in it so it means i mean it, it, it is a, it is a data type that can either be true or false okay often referred to as the false one is often referred to as integer zero and the true is often referred to as integer one all right so again if you have understood the concept you would realize that this particular thing is a variable it's a mean that refers to a memory location and the value present in that particular variable is a is a data type of boolean data type all right so now let's go and look at their implementation in python programming language all right so i hope you conceptually cleared this thing so let's look at it in terms of language all right <coughs> so we have discussed mean is equal to suppose uh, uh, say school course course is equal to pre course so basically what is this this name and this course are variables that are storing two different values name is storing must high school and pre course is stored i mean course is storing pre course okay let's make it course type all right so these are the two variables that we have declared okay and what kind of value these variables are storing it's a string okay so the data type these variables are storing is called a string and uh, and 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 these name and course type in itself is called a variable so you can work around with these variables so basically whenever you want to refer to that particular memory location you use the variable name that's why the reason we need variables suppose you want to print uh, name okay so when you have uh, a variable defined you don't need to put it in quotes if you want to print it you just need to do the name of the variable okay let's print course type so all you need to do is you just need to type in the name of the variable and this should not be in quotes all right so this is a i will mention this is a string type of data okay so let's run this in the console so yeah, it printed pre course because we asked it to print the value of course type and course type stores this value. Okay, so this is a string data type. Let's try to put some numbers. So, marks is equal to say 70. So, basically, what is happening is this marks refers to a particular space in the memory storage in which we have stored 70, which means this marks is a variable that stores a number or an integer data type to be precise. Okay, so if you just say print marks, so it basically refers to that memory location, and hence if you run it, it will show you 70 because marks refers to that particular value. If you, I mean, yeah, that's one thing. So we looked at uh, integer. Let's look at boolean. So suppose you want to, you're building an application in which you want to keep track of whether whether a user is logged in or not. So it can have two possible values, right? Either it is true or false. So suppose the variable name is is not in. Okay. So suppose when it's false, so which means the user is not logged in. So we can say print is logged in. Let's run this. Okay, it said false. Let's make it true. So basically, uh, the idea that I'm trying to cover here is. Uh, so the idea that I'm trying to cover here is uh, make you understand what variables are, what data types are. Variable is just a location because we, we started with this thing only. You need memory, computer memory to fork, to process your input, all right, or to, or to store it. Uh, so in order to do that, we declare a variable that refers to a particular memory location. We store some value in it and we can work around with that. 
okay but uh, so having said that there are some conventions that you need to follow there are certain rules that you need to follow in order to give a name to a variable first one a variable name must start with a letter or the underscore character a variable name cannot start with a number a variable name cannot only contain alphanumeric characters i mean can only contain these and variable names are case sensitive okay so what i mean by that is uh, age and age are two different things so let's look at that if you say age is equal to 60 and you refer age is equal to 35 let's print age okay let's try to print that so it printed 35 if we do the caps version of this because it's a different variable all right let's look at what the program does now it prints 60 all right because age is key i mean the variables are case sensitive the, the variable on line one and the variable on line two have a different meaning okay so these are cases you have to remember this. so suppose in your in your code you want to know what kind of variable my what kind of data type does a particular variable store okay so the way you find out is you say type and under brackets you pass out the name of the variable so let's try to print this. Let's clear console before we perform some task. Okay, let's run this. So it said type as int. Okay, age is storing an integer type of data. Correct, that is correct. Now suppose I want to say name is equal to a <coughs> size code. And suppose uh, we put this thing. And now let's run it. So it's a type string, str refers to a string. So basically, uh, a variable is a memory location that we have access to. We can store any type of values in it. And the type of value we store in it is called data type. In this case, that data type is a string. Okay, the, the data type that is the name is including is a string. Okay, so I believe, yeah, that's pretty much it that I wanted to discuss in this segment. I'll wrap it up by uh, but with some some conclusions that we have discussed so there are two things one is variable another one is data right a variable is a particular memory location that you refer to and in which you put some values the value can be of different type for instance it can be integer it can be string it can be floating value all right so uh, yeah that's it about uh, data types and variables and uh, hope to see you in the next segment thank you so much for joining Thank you.